Commandant Joliet. Je m'appelle Daniel Boone. Ah, uh, j'ai des pots à négocier. J'ai besoin de plomb. Very nice, Daniel. Now, would you mind telling me again what that means? Well, it means good day, Commander Joliet. My name is Daniel Boone, and I've got some furs to trade for lead. At least that's what the Frenchman back in Boonesboro said it meant. Well, we'll find out soon enough when you try it on the French at St. Genevieve. Yep. And if it works, we'll do it every year. It's a lot easier coming west to the Mississippi than going over the mountains to the east. Mm. The birds look like they're about done. Yes, they do. I see. Je m'appelle Daniel Boone. J'ai des pots à négocier. J'ai besoin des plombs. Bonjour. Si, Gabriel Lajeune. Bonjour. Ah, no se mueva. You mind telling us what this is all about? <laughs> Your English is very good, monsieur, but not good enough to fool me. You are prisoners. Bind their hands. Well, now, wait a minute. You've got us mixed up with somebody else. Well, if you insist on speaking English, I will oblige you, Monsieur Gabriel Lajeune. Who? What's he talking about? I'm not Gabriel Lejeune, and neither is he. Callese. Shut up. La canoa, tráigala. Now, move. Well, is there anything wrong with telling us where we're going? To Santa Genieva. St. Genevieve? March! <laughs> close to St. Genevieve, I wouldn't have bothered to stop to eat. Yes, if we had hurried, we could have been locked up two hours earlier. Say, Daniel, those fellows are Spaniards. What are the Spanish doing here? No, oh, I don't know. Auxiliaries, maybe. Help the French against the British. Yes, but look what they've done with us, and they think you're French. Well, that's what I get for learning to say bonjour. I wonder who this Gabriel Lejeune is and why they're after him. We should start wondering how we're going to get out of here. Well, there won't be any trouble. There's bound to be somebody around here with more sense than that Spanish captain. As soon as I explain who we really are, you let us go. I just hope our furs get here. Commandante will see you now. 
Only Lejeune. Come with me. Monsieur Lejean, c'est un plaisir de vous voir. I'm not Lejean. The captain here made a mistake. Uh, bonjour, commandant. Je m'appelle Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone? Oh! <laughs> vous avez l'esprit comique. Does anybody around here speak English? But of course, monsieur, if you prefer that barbarous tongue. Uh, sit down, sit down. But I assure you that your pretended ignorance of the French language is a poor disguise, and your claim to be Daniel Boone is worse. But that's who I am. I'm here to trade a year's take of furs for some of your French lead. The French lead is what you will give to me. The lead, the powder, and the guns. Where are they? What are you Spanish doing in a French fort? How about that flag? Well, I have not had time to change the decorations. Permit me to introduce myself. I am Esteban Morales Maria Valenzuela de Vaca, the new commandant of the former French settlement of Saint Genevieve. Well, permit me to reintroduce myself. I'm... Gabriel Lejeune. Guilty of supplying arms to the French rebels in New Orleans, guilty of trying to establish an independent state on the lower Mississippi, and guilty of killing a guard and making your escape. The more I hear of this, Lejeune, the more impressed I am, but I'm not the man. Capitan Francisco, is this the man you held prisoner till his escape? Excellency, I did not see this Lejeune while he was a prisoner, but I am positive this is the man. Well, if you didn't see him, how can you be so sure? Why else would you be hiding in the woods? Why else would you be speaking French to your servant when we captured you? I wasn't hiding in the woods, and I was just practicing a few lines of French I learned for fur trading. We'll settle this. There is one person who will know you. Come with me. Glad to. Let me take help clear this up. you that I'm not Lejeune. Gabriel! Oh, Gabriel, ils t'ont capturé. Oh, j'aurais voulu que tu sois loin d'ici. I can't understand a word you're saying, and I'm not who you think I am. Mais, Gabriel, pourquoi dis-tu ça? Look, I, and I would appreciate your saying so in English. Mais, Gabriel, pourquoi parles-tu en anglais? Look, I'm not Gabriel Lejeune, I'm Daniel Boone. Oh, vous n'êtes pas Gabriel. I see now. It was a trick of the light. You're not Gabriel Lajeune at all. Allow me to explain. I am Eloise Joliet. What's this Gabriel Lejeune to you? The man I hope to marry. I see. I'm kept a prisoner here. They hope Gabriel Lajeune will find out and try to rescue me. Does the Spanish will be waiting for him? All right. I'm sure, you heard everything. I hope you're satisfied. I am completely satisfied, Monsieur Lajeune. You heard what she said. I'm not Lejeune. It's true. He is not. A woman rushes into her lover's arms, gently whispering his name, Mademoiselle. I am not so discourteous as to doubt a woman's emotions. She made a mistake and she said so. Ah, but only after you begged her to say it. Don't take me for a fool, monsieur. No, mademoiselle, the performance is over. Our intelligence reports show that before our surprise attack, you, monsieur, had arranged the transport of arms and ammunition to the French rebels in New Orleans. 
The inventory shows 150 rifles, 3,000 rounds of ammunition, and 200 pounds of black powder, all missing from the arsenals of this post. Well, whoever emptied the arsenal did a skillful job, but it wasn't me. I grow weary of your denials, Monsieur Lachon. When you discovered our troops patrolling this area, you decided to hide the cargo. At this moment, my men are combing every inch of ground, and I assure you, we will find the arms and ammunition. Now I want the names of the rebels who are to receive them. I don't know. I'm not a you. Oh, you French are a stubborn people. I think I know a method that will freshen your memory. Whatever devilish method you are planning, you can't. He is not Gabriel Lajeune and can't possibly give you any information. Oh, mademoiselle, then why are you so concerned? Take him away. Oh, please, monsieur. The sight of your blood would be most painful to Mademoiselle Joliette. But he is innocent. Mademoiselle, your emotions speak louder and more truthfully than your words. They have convinced me entirely. You see, monsieur, what awaits you? Trouble. I am interested to find out just how long you can maintain this pretense. You've got the wrong man. Then I must convince you of your true identity. El Toro? Release him. Well caught. Now, monsieur, do you prefer to reveal yourself as the excellent swordsman you're reputed to be? Or do you prefer to let me carve my name on your skin? Oh, God. Soon you will have a new reputation as a dancer. Finally, stop pretending. Good. Have you learned your name yet? Julius Caesar. I would not kill you until I have the names of your confederates. We'll have to beat them out of you. Bind them to the post. It won't do you any good. Wait. Perhaps you're right. You're a very brave man when the pain is yours. Perhaps it will hurt more if the pain is another's. Capitan Francisco, get la mademoiselle. <laughs> Monsieur Lejeune, if any harm comes to Mademoiselle Joliette, 
The fault will be yours. All you have to do to save her is talk. I'd talk if I could. I'm not Lejeune. You make me do this thing and I'll kill you. The whip is in your hands, monsieur. Torum, muestrale. Si. Atrás. See, monsieur? Now talk. Thanks, monsieur. Sorry, it was all my fault. I pretended you were Gabrielle so that you would have a chance to get away. But now that they know who you are, I'm sure they'll let you go free. What's going to happen to you? Take me to New Orleans, I suppose, with the others. Then what'll happen? I don't know. The French have rebelled against the Spanish. King Louis had no right to give Louisiana to Spain. We are his own people, and we are not consulted. Well, kings have a way of doing things to people without consulting them. Gabriel, he's pretty deep in this. More than anyone. Without him, the fight for French independence would die, and the Spanish know it. But they will never capture him now. The Commandante will see you now. And so, Senor Boone, you will please accept my apologies and those of Capitan Francisco. Capitan, apologize to Senor Boone. 
A most regrettable error, Senor Boone. I beg to be excused. I apologize to his servant, too. Well, Mingo is my servant. We're friends. Friends? Oh, well, so much the better. Close friends, I trust. <laughs> Might I say, boon companions? <laughs> Men who would die for each other? Why make so much of it? Well, I rarely indulge in the warmth of personal relationships, and I must enjoy them vicariously. My duties are to His Serene Highness of Spain, whose territory this is at present, not to His Exalted Majesty of France, who might want it back someday intact. <laughs> Senor de Vaca, my mother was Cherokee and my father is English, but frankly, I'm not interested in how the kings of Europe give and take their territories. We came here to trade furs for lead. Whether with the French or Spanish makes no difference to us. Ah, but there is a difference, because the Spaniards are interested in empire, not furs. Well, in that case, we'll take our furs back to Kentucky. Goodbye, Senor de Vaca, or should I say adios? You will say neither, Senor Boone. The fact that Capitan Francisco took you prisoners by mistake does not make you any the less prisoners. You see, I need your services. Services? Those for which you are famous. Even in the deserts of the far west, men have heard of Daniel Boone, the man who can move through the wilds without ever leaving a trail of his own, but can always follow another's trail, even though it is days or weeks old. Somebody's been exaggerating. Well, I hope not. In any case, the trail you will follow is only a few hours old. Lejeune's trail. Exactly. Until I have Lejeune, and the names of his confederates, my victory is not complete. Well, Mingo and I will do our best to find him for you. Ah. Without even an argument, huh? Why are you so willing? Well, Lejeune is a wanted man. Apparently, I look like him. I've been mistaken for him once. Could happen again unless he's recaptured. An excellent attempt, Senor Boone. But I cannot see why you would voluntarily do me a favor. Indeed, were I you, I would detest me. And so if you and Senor Mingo led us after Lejeune, you would desert, would you not? It's a thought. Precisely. So Senor Mingo remains here, a prisoner. You are his close friend. If you desert us on the trail, he will be shot. Should you fail to lead us to Lejeune, he will be shot. If you betray us in any way at all, you will both be shot. You hear that, Capitan? You will be in command here. Si, Comandante. What happens if I find Lejeune? He will give me the information I mistakenly tried to get from you. He, even more than you, will be unable to see Mademoiselle Joliet suffer. After that? He will be shot. And you and your friend will go free. Daniel, you can't trail an innocent man to his death. I don't want his blood on my soul. But I don't want yours on mine either. Good. You understand then. Yeah. Somebody's going to get shot.
May I remind you, Senor Boone, that your friend's life and your life depend on the success of your work? I have a schedule I intend to adhere to. Why did you do that? Ah. Blood stains. We hit him then. He's wounded. I reckon he is. And why did you try to hide it? I see. You know that a wounded man could not have gone very far. You would like more time, huh? Well, instead, you get less. Find him by sundown or Mingo dies. If June is wounded, he's gonna be pretty desperate. Don't you think I need a gun? I think the four of us can protect you. Just keep your mind on your work and on your friend Mingo. some time here. How much? Uh, long enough to make something from these straps from his bag. Why would he need straps? It might come in handy to bind a brace or a crutch. Oh, then he cannot be traveling very fast. Yeah, I reckon not. How long ago, in your opinion, did he leave here? Don't you feel like a white-bellied snake hounding a wounded man to his grave? Not in the slightest. Men who gamble for empire must be prepared for the consequences if they lose. And I cannot understand why you care about the life of a man you have never seen. Well, it might be because he's fighting for his liberty, or maybe because I've seen the woman he wants to marry. You are deliberately delaying, senor, and this will not help either Mingo or Mademoiselle Joliet. Now, how long ago did he leave here? About an hour. All right. All right.
Chi è Andrio? E toro, ora! Toro? Toro? If you care to stay alive, you keep still. I cannot promise to control El Toro. How can I keep still when he's so terrible with that whip? Oh. Kaidi say! say! Never mind what he says. I'm telling you, shut up! Oh, he's so clumsy with the whip. I'd say I could do better with a length of rope. Kaidi say! He says you're no good with... Uh. <laughs> Why don't you let me prove it to you? Let's have a contest. You want the contest? Exactly. You hear him? He wants El Torneo, con El Toro. Si, sí, si, sí, El Torneo! Si, sí, si, sí, Toro. All right, listen. You and El Toro will have the contest. If you win, you will use the whip on him. But if he win, he will use the whip on you. Now, you want to play or you want to keep still? I don't want to keep still. I want to play. All right. Play him out. <laughs> here and then it's a good place for a wounded man to rest he's got a good view of the country from this ledge most likely he saw us coming you think he did i figure he did then he must be very close lead on well, he'll be harder to follow from now on he'll hide his tracks no excuses find him oh, careful senor boone you must think of others beside yourself you are of no value to me dead. If this task is so difficult for you, why have you not tried to escape? Here among the rocks and the trees, a man with your ability could easily get away and return to Kentucky, unharmed. <laughs> you see, you are too much a man of honor. You cannot condemn your good friend to death. So proceed. We should have him within the hour. <laughs> Child's play. Tell me, Captain, do you by any chance have any candles? Candles? Yes. I oh, see, si, candelas. Of course, we'll uh, have to have a place to stand them. And on second thought, it might be even more interesting if someone were to hold them. Why, certainly, the mademoiselle shall hold them. La señorita. Certainly, why not? I will ask if she is willing. Juliet, would you be good enough to hold a candle in each hand at arm's length like this? Oui. Thank you. Now, the object is to extinguish the flame without touching the candle or mademoiselle. Comprende? Si, si. Primero usted. 
As you wish. The senorita made him miss, she moved her hand. You think so, eh? Perhaps. In that case, let's give El Toro another chance. Something a little more difficult? Captain? Que dice? Que dice? Gentlemen, this time we use the whip to trigger the guns. Captain, your rifle, please. <laughs> Senor Toro, if you're ready. El es Diablo! You refuse? All right, go ahead. But if you fail, I will call you a bragger and you will lose the contest. That's true. If I fail, I lose. And now, gentlemen, if you'll stand back, please. Thank you, Captain. And that ends the contest. And now I believe this is the only loaded weapon in the stockade. Don't move. Anybody who does will receive a ball between the eyes. Mademoiselle, if you will run and open the gate, I believe we'll take our leave. <laughs> Capitan, El Toro, amigos, thank you and adios.
told you the trail was going to be harder to follow? Well, we will never catch up to him if we stand around talking. Move on, move on. Devaka, I think you're hunting this man because you think what he's doing is going to cause Spain to lose a little piece of this country. Now, I want to tell you that Spain isn't going to keep it in, neither is England or France. Oh? And why not? Well, because the only people that own a country are the people that live on it. People that plow the ground, plant the orchards, and learn to love it. Now, if you would just... Senor Boone, you're wasting my time and yours. Which way did he go? Here's his trail. Well, he took to the water. These are fresh tracks. Yeah, there is tracks, all right. All I got to do is figure out whether he went upstream or down. Regardless, he has to leave the stream somewhere. Yeah. Well, he could wait a mile or more. Trouble is, if I pick the wrong direction first, he'll get a long jump on us. Then pick the right direction. What would you do if you were Lejeune? To look around a bit. Went upstream. All right. Get after him. walk in the water. What for? Well, I don't want you tramping over his tracks wherever he comes out of the stream. leg wade in the stream when men with good legs fall down. All I know is I'm to find where he left the stream. And soon there will be no dry powder. Oh. On the banks, all of you. We have muddied the waters, have we not? And if any man had preceded us upstream, he would have muddied the water too. Is that not so? But the stream ahead of us is not muddy. Therefore, Lejeune went downstream. Well, now that's right smart thinking. Wonder why I didn't think of that. But you did think of it. You deliberately led us in the wrong direction to give Lejeune more time. All right. We were close to him once. I don't know how bad he's hurt, but he stopped running. Maybe he's dying. I wanted to give him all the time I could. A dead man can tell me nothing, Senor Boone. You have forfeited your own life as well as the life of your friend, Mingo. Listen. What now? Hear that bird? What of it? That's no bird. <laughs> Well done, Daniel. That was the sweetest bird call I ever heard. <laughs> I've got to find Lejeune and tie him up. Daniel, wait. I guess we made it just in time. I hope so. Daniel seems to have forgotten that Lejeune has no way of knowing who he is.
English, you. So, monsieur, you have let these Spaniards after me, eh? Now, now, if you'll just wait, Eloise will be here. Eloise? What do you know about her? The Spaniards captured her. I just got rid of the Spaniards. Now will you listen? Oui. I shall listen. Well, it's kind of a long story. I think I'll let her tell you. Well, she has the right man this time, Daniel. Yeah, it's easy to tell. They're both speaking the same language. I don't hear anything. That's what I mean. Yeah. 